Hi, welcome to a special episode of the Curiosity. This is only about news, observances and opportunities. Coming to the news story of last week, first let us talk about COVID-19 treatment or vaccine update. So coming to the treatment, we have now three candidates in the phase three clinical trial, Jaleed Sciences, Rayvan Sciences and uh, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, not changed from the last week. And we also have one candidate at phase two clinical trial that is Atherosis Multistum. And coming to the vaccines, we have three candidates at the phase three clinical trial, not just one earlier. Last week, it was just one. So we have now two more entries. Uh, University of Oxford AstraZeneca that has been entered into the third uh, phase uh, last week. We have now Moderna Therapeutics that is basically uh, the US based Moderna is uh, working with the mRNA uh, viral vector vaccine and BioNTech Pfizer. This is a German company against an RNA based vaccine. So these two are the new uh, exciting entries for the phase 3 clinical trial. So by the way, phase 3 is a large scale uh, clinical trial and there is a last stepping turn towards the development of the vaccine. So most probably the vaccine will be out in, uh, you know, in any of the next one or two months, who knows it. And we also have three candidates at the phase 2 clinical trial that is Sinovac and CanSino Biologics, both are from China. And the Russians claim that they developed a vaccine already, that the, the vaccine is called Sputnik V. Putin confirmed that his daughters were administered with this vaccine. But the experts are seriously casting doubts over the efficacy of the Sputnik V. Uh, and also because they had the, you know, the vaccine have been passed through the, the phase 3 clinical trials. Of course, without phase 3 clinical trials, the vaccines are not uh, even safe or even ethical to release uh, to the general public. Last week, the NASA also released some of the stunning image of the Mars by the Mars Orbiter. You know, there's a camera fit on the Mars Orbiter called High Rise Cam and they have uh, released a fantastic and stunning pictures. You can see the water on the Mars surface very clearly and the cloud-like formations uh, on the Mars surface. All these pictures were taken by the Reconnaissance Orbiter by NASA. Coming to observances of the next week. Uh, you know, in the next week, we have August 19 is UN International Humanitarian Day. And this year's theme is the uh, hashtag real life heroes. Uh, you know, these people uh, who are actually the frontline warriors uh, working for the COVID-19, uh, helping other human beings irrespective of the caste or creed or religion or ethnicity or race, uh, you know, or the nationality. So they are the real life heroes, friends. So hashtag real life heroes. Uh, please tag uh, your friends who are actually working nurses, for example, uh, doctors, uh, you know, whoever, uh, lab technicians or the police officers, whoever is actually working for the COVID-19, they are all comes under, let us celebrate them by observing uh, this UN uh, International Humanitarian Day. On the same day, that is August 19, is also World Photography Day, uh, you know, exciting day for uh, amateur photographers to celebrate. Uh, August 20th is the World Mosquito Day. Uh, do you know why this day is celebrated? It was on August 20th, way back in 1897, that the British, uh, you know, scientist uh, uh, Sir Ronald Rose, who identified that the uh, female Anopheles mosquitoes, uh, you know, they, uh, it actually transmit the malarial uh, parasite. Of course, as you know, this uh, mosquitoes are the world's deadliest animal, friends. Deadliest animal because the malaria and other, uh, you know, the uh, mosquito uh, transmitted diseases are, you know, the one that kills the majority of the world's population. And August 20 is a very good time for us to spread the awareness about the mosquito laden places and, uh, you know, mosquito, why uh, we have to decimate the mosquitoes in our surrounding areas and why we have to clean up the mess that might lead to the breeding of the mosquitoes in our areas especially stagnant water, we have to get rid of the stagnant water. That could be a good breeding ground for the mosquitoes. August 22 is the International Day for commemorating the victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief. It's a United Nations International Day. Uh, as we know, the, the religion and belief uh, is actually the, the number one reason for most of the violence and, uh, you know, the, the, the war crimes happening around the world. So this is a great day to spread awareness about stopping the violence in names of religion or belief. 
coming to astronomy uh, related observances as you know this is a virgo this uh, you know this time is uh, really good uh, if you're a sky watcher to spot the virgo or you can look at the apps which i recommended in the last week's curiosity episode and this time of the year is also great for meteor shower the precise meteor shower is ongoing and it will continue till the end of this month and all of this uh, August, you can see Arcturus, that is basically a, a red giant uh, underneath the uh, Big Dipper constellation. Just have to spot the Big Dipper and the same arc, you know, of the Big Dipper will eventually spot in the Arcturus. Uh, that is what the, the name also says. It's a big giant, a gas giant. You can have a look at that. It's a fantastic. It's one of the brightest object in the uh, observable universe. And the Virgo, the constellation Virgo is also clearly visible in August. And August 15, that is today, is the Venus and Moon come together. So it's an excellent day uh, to watch the, you know, the, the coming together of the Venus and the Moon. And coming to opportunities of this week, uh, you know, the HFSP, that is Human Frontier Science Program, one of the prestigious uh, program for the postdoctoral fellowship is open now. Uh, in the deadline is 27th August. Sun Pharma Award is open now. Again, the deadline is 30th September. So you have got more than a month. A BRAC Biotechnology Ignition Grant is also open now. The call uh, 15th September is the last date. Indo-Swedish Artificial Intelligence for Health Grant by the De Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. The deadline is 28th August. Hope you like this show. If you like this show, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it in relevant groups. I will see you soon in next week. Until then, goodbye.